Troubleshooting is a logical and systematic approach to identifying the source of a problem or problematic component in a system. It is both an art and a science, and is an essential skill that will help us bring a system back to normal working condition effectively. It is also the hardest part of the problem-solving process, because it is time-consuming, requires a methodology, and requires knowledge of components and dependencies. Troubleshooting doesn't refer to fixing the problem. It is a process that is intended to provide the most efficient path to identifying and isolating the failure within a system. When applied correctly, it avoids unnecessary testing, guessing, and serial substitution. The first step of the process is preparation. In this step, we get familiar with the system and its components. Here, we need to understand each component of the system, how they interact with each other, and what the system is supposed to do. The more we know about the system, the better we'll be prepared to troubleshoot it. The second step is identifying the problem. It is the hardest part of the troubleshooting process, but it can be simplified by eliminating the obvious factors, such as whether the device is plugged in and turned on. It is also important to identify the symptom, consider whether the actual cause is coming from another element of the system, and place the failure within a specific time context. Finally, the third step in the troubleshooting process is selecting a strategy and executing it. This part of the process is not exclusive, meaning we don't need to select a single strategy and stick with it. In fact, many times we will start with one strategy and continue with a different one. The important aspect of applying a strategy is that we apply it correctly following some basic rules. First, only perform one step at a time. Second, test each step before proceeding to the next one. Third, document each step taken. And fourth, don't overlook or skip steps even if they seem trivial. There are multiple strategies that we can use to isolate the problem. We can divide into subsystems. If only one aspect of the system is not working, isolating that aspect as a subsystem reduces the number of components to check. In a Navy system, there are usually multiple subsystems, whether these are physical, functional, or a combination. Elements in a subsystem may include control, audio, video, telephony, audio or video conferencing equipment, individual rooms, etc. This is usually the first technique that we apply. The divide and conquer technique is based on splitting the system in two and identifying which half is not working. Then we repeat the process with the problematic half. This technique is the fastest as it allows us to isolate the problem in just a few steps. The swapping technique, as the name implies, relies on swapping a suspected non-working component with a known working one. This technique, although effective, can be expensive because it requires us to have replacement components on hand. Following the signal path is a technique that is inherited from analog audio system where signal integrity is checked at the start and the end of every single component of the signal chain. It is easy to execute, but it can be time consuming. In general, troubleshooting is about following a process and asking the right questions. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more insights, tutorials, and answers to frequently asked questions.